Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well during this holiday season, taking some time for yourself for some peace, relaxation, spending time with family, friends, and those that you love. Welcome to the Gemini full moon reading. Coming up this week on 1212, there's definitely some deep significance behind these numbers, especially in the month of December with this full moon in Gemini. Um, 12, 12, you know, ones representing a deeper spiritual connection, new beginnings, working on your heart center, right? Your heart chakra, your spirituality, having a deeper connection. And two, it's all about finding tranquility and peace and balance in your life, your relationships and home. So there's a lot of significance here. So I'm going to do a general spread for this Gemini full moon and stay tuned because after the general spread, I'm going to pull some oracle cards for each individual sign. So I just want to get into a little bit of the astrology for this week too. Um, on the 11th coming up, the day before the full moon, we have Venus and Capricorn and that's conjoining Saturn and Capricorn. So there'll be a lot of focus here on defining, look what we have, the Two of Cups, King of Swords, right? Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, representing this Gemini full moon. Venus, love, money, what you value. It's Taurus, right? Taurus, Libra. So commitments to yourself, to others, your money, your self-worth, your self, others, possessions, self-esteem, okay? So there's going to be a deep focus on that. And Capricorn, represented by the Devil card. Okay, the Devil card isn't all negative. Every card has their shadowy aspects, but the Devil card is about vitality, putting in the work and effort. Capricorn energy is about commitment and committing to something. So whether this is committing to your self-love or committing to another person, how you make your money, what makes you happy. So there's definitely a lot of energy surrounding that. But this Gemini full moon set to be a powerful one that day, 12-12, we also have Chiron going direct. And Chiron is about deep wounds. The wounds that we have from the things that we experience that, you know, are difficult but make us stronger. So when Chiron going direct, there could definitely be some conversations, especially with Gemini being Mercury rules, some conversations surrounding our wounds, healing conversations, okay? Some liberation, liberation from the past. With Chiron going retrograde, there could have been a really deep review, a real strong review um, of past wounds surrounding your self-worth, other people, those that have hurt you. Here's this healing energy, right? The Four of Swords. What else do we have here, Spirit, for this full moon in Gemini, please? And then the day after the full moon, okay, December 13th, we have Venus conjunct Pluto. So there's a lot surrounding Venus with the self-worth and values, love, money and possessions and self-esteem. So with Venus in Capricorn, in Pluto and Capricorn, Pluto is a power planet for deep transformation. And again, Capricorn, the devil energy, right? Vitality, it's deep masculine energy. So there could be an ending. There could be a new beginning. There could be revelations, right? Like with this King of Swords energy, revelations surrounding where you want to put your commitments, where you want to commit, who you want to commit to. And what is the most important message here for this Gemini full moon, please? Mm 
Yeah, look at this, the lovers, okay? Gemini rules. So this Gemini energy here, it's very deep, it's very powerful. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. So the lovers as the most important message. With this Gemini full moon, this could be highlighting decisions and choices. It could even be highlighting past choices that you have made that are coming up for review, right? Maybe while Chiron was retrograde. So while Chiron was ret retrograde, there could have been a real deep review of the past. Justice card, choices, decisions, right? So justice is Libra energy, more air energy. This could even be about making decisions from a place of balance and maturity, right? We have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords, that energy is about taking a time out, taking a breather, getting your thoughts together with the Swords energy. So for some of you, you may find that you've gone through that period. Others of you may be entering into that type of period of a review. But with the Justice card, and look what's behind it, Knight of Swords, more Gemini energy. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. So Knight of Swords, it's a very forceful energy. It's somebody who's ready to move forward. It can be impulsive, somebody who's ready to take control of a situation, ready to make a choice or a decision, ready to commit to something. Whether it's health, loving yourself, working on healing a relationship with somebody, a love relationship and romance, maybe family, a child relationship even, any area of your life. It could even be healing how you make your money. So in other words, you may have gone through a period of a financial struggle and a struggle of self-worth your value, right? So there could be a deep healing and focusing on that. So with the justice card, for some of you, this could represent some type of legal battle that you have been dealing with. Okay, so with justice, there could be a choice or a decision that's coming up for you sometime around this full moon in Gemini. With the justice energy, it is making an impartial decision. So it's not all about emotion. It's about an a balance of emotion and logic, not letting emotions rule. Using logic, strategizing. So let's get into this. We have the lovers as the most important message. Now, the lovers is about stepping into alignment. And how do you do that? You make choices that are in alignment with the path that you want to go down, the type of life you wanna live, so for some of you, there could be some choices here that you're mulling over or you have mulled over in the past, maybe involving love or romance. This could be a deep faded connection for some of you. You could have gone through a period of, or somebody even around you, because remember this reading can be about those surrounding you and those that you're involved with. But there could have been a lot of confusion surrounding a matter, especially with Chiron retrograde somebody may have needed to go through that death period, that deep transformation internally and go through it by themselves. But with the lover's card and this Gemini energy representing this Gemini full moon, no doubt there's definitely a strong message here for making decisions that are in alignment. There could be people or situations coming into your life that are in alignment with where you wanna go, what you wanna do, your path, your soul mission. So we have the King of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Communication with the King of Swords. Somebody who has made a decision, but taken time to review past matters. It's a very mature decision with the King of Swords energy, right? It's a king. So the king represents somebody who is trustworthy. It could represent somebody who is mature, has been through a lot in their lifetime. And with the King of Swords and the Justice card, especially at the bottom of the deck, 
you may be facing a choice or a decision involving commitment or a partnership here with the two of swords so a well thought out decision with this four of swords energy this could have been what you've been going through for the last three months six months year or even years right healing thinking things through taking a time out healing your thoughts trying to be more positive seeing the light in the darkness and seeing the darkness in the light even okay and this three of wands energy the three of wands represents movement it's wands it's fire energy so there's movement coming in three of wands represents something that is just on the horizon okay this even represents matters dissolving so for example especially with the king of swords and justice at the bottom of the deck and the lovers for some of you, this could even represent a divorce situation for it. I want to use that as an example. It's a marriage dissolving. It's a partnership dissolving. It's a cycle dissolving and coming to an end. Yet you have this horizon here filled with hope, new possibilities, new opportunities that are coming in. So this energy is about something happening soon, something changing. And with the two of cups even... This isn't always just about love, but this can represent a person, a partnership, a soulmate friendship, family, someone who feels like family. So even if it's in business, but the King of Swords, yes, it can represent a separation along with justice. So we have the Ten of Wands. At the bottom here, Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, Knight of Pentacles, and Judgment. I love this energy for this full moon with the Judgment card. Now, Ten of Wands is representing a cycle that is coming to an end where there's been a lot of difficulties. So this could be even mentally, emotionally, carrying too much. It's felt like an uphill battle. Maybe it felt like something hasn't flowed. It hasn't been peaceful. So the Ten of Wands represents coming to the end of that cycle. Wands, energy, fire, and movement. You may be ready to finally put a cycle or a situation to rest. The Gemini full moon could definitely be highlighting that. A lot of realizations, especially because the this full moon will be squaring Neptune. And Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, this can represent on the shadow side, deception, things that have been hidden, confusion, the darkness, working through the darkness and shadow, right? In order to grow and evolve. So there could have been a partnership or some type of relationship in the past, even a job maybe where, you know, it worked for you at one time, but it presented many challenges to you, forcing you to work through your shadows to find the light. Six of Pentacles. So with the Six of Pentacles, this represents a need for reciprocity. So, you know, one hand washes the other, right? This can also represent a change in finances. So maybe even a loan coming through, um, hearing news about some type of offer that you put in, okay? Those looking to maybe buy or sell. Um, but the Six of Pentacles could also represent someone coming into your life or an opportunity coming in that's going to help you financially. Maybe even you helping someone in that way. We have the Chariot Cancer Energy. So the Chariot represents a force. It's a force to be reckoned with. And some one here or an energy here, it's a very driven energy. With the chariot, though, although it has a masculine energy to it, it also has the feminine. It's the duality. Masculine and feminine coming together. So there's a perfect balance with the chariot energy. It can be mastering emotions, mastering a lesson, right? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles represents something solid, something stable, a commitment. It's a very committed energy with the Knight of Pentacles, building a solid foundation, opportunities that are going to bring a lot of abundance in. 
It can be a slower process, yes, but, and then we have this judgment card. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but judgment here representing, this is beautiful, atonement, rising from the ashes. For some of you, definitely a choice here between judgment, the lovers, and justice. You could be faced with a choice. There could be something that just comes out of left fields that maybe you've been sensing, but couldn't quite put your finger on it. And now this energy coming forward is highlighting this matter. So for some of you, yes, choices and decisions, but these choices and decisions will bring in harmony and balance. It's just a matter of working through some of the shadow, taking some time for some of you. Okay, I wanna take a look at the lover's card, please. Take a look at the lover's card. Okay, look at this energy, the Empress. Again, that's that Venus energy that I was speaking of. So with some of these transits, like I mentioned, Venus conjoining Saturn, Venus defining, you know, commitments, money, love, what you value, your self-esteem and possessions. And <laughs> this is going to be a deep decision here, a deep culmination. And then again, the day after the full moon, as I mentioned, Venus conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. So there could definitely be a culmination to a relationship, a money matter, a financial matter. But the Empress is about bearing the fruit of all your hard work. It's a strong feminine energy. It can deal with motherhood, the wife. new possibilities so i feel like for many of you there's going to be a lot of new possibilities here um, but it is a matter of you know maybe one thing dissolving and ending in order to make space for these new possibilities so this could be part of this choice with this king of swords energy All right, and let's take a look at the judgment card before we get into the individual card pulls. I want to represent judgment here. What else for judgment, please, do we have, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, we have the moon card. There we go. All right, so the moon representing the full moon. The moon is Pisces energy. So as I mentioned before, working through some of the shadowy aspects, through fears, traumas, just like that Chiron retrograde and direct energy now, I feel like Chiron's going to have a strong impact on many of you, whoever this resonates with. Wounds, fears, shadows that have been worked through. For some, it could be entering into this period of working through these matters fears right fears that are holding you back from living your best life fears that are holding you back from opening up to love being ready for love abundance wealth prosperity and it's not always about money sometimes it's just about connections right helping others through your shadows with the moon card for some of you you could be going down a new spiritual path Focusing more on healing, herbs, tarot even. But with this moon energy, some things that have been hidden, right? Maybe some illusions. I think there's going to be some definite hard truths here. Because this Gemini energy squaring Neptune, the moon, is going to bring about truths. So if... You know, for example, there's been illusions about a person that maybe you've had your heart set on, but you've had a blindfold on because you've been so maybe in love with this person or you cared about them, but you looked past maybe how they've treated you. There could be some judgment there. There could be, you know, healing and judgment towards... Um, another connection in your life maybe that's 
had some turmoil. So focusing on a lot of healing. This moon energy, this is very powerful to heal the shadow and work through those. So we can't ignore the shadows. We can't ignore the darkness. Um, that is what, you know, makes us understand the light duality between the darkness and light. But the moon is a very feminine energy. And for others of you, like I said, there could be a deep focus on spirituality. Again, you know, holistic, herbs, um, healing others, Reiki, healing modality. So some of you may be even diving into that. You may be going through a deep spiritual awakening. Like I mentioned on 1212, the number one is having a strong connection with spirit and focusing more on that connection. Maybe even building your own business, but there's a lot of healing energy here. A lot of healing of the shadow, of the difficulties, of the wounds. And there could be a lot of healing conversations. Even judgment is about apologies. For some of you, it could be healing a relationship that, like I said, has had a lot of turmoil. And, you know, with the moon card illuminating those matters. So lots of healing energy here. All right, and I wanna get into now your individual card pulls for each sign. So I'm gonna start with Sagittarius and then I'm gonna go backwards because we are in Sagittarius season right now. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Archangel Power Tarot, this deck, and I'm going to be using the Love Angels, and also the Moonology deck. Okay. 